and welcome to another Game News Roundup, where today we are focused on the latest VG Charts estimates for the month of April 2023. And bear with me today if I sound like uh, I'm not feeling 100% because I am not. Uh, I'm not feeling the best today, but here we are going over the latest estimates. Again, this is being live streamed, actually. Twitch.tv slash TrunksWD if you want to check that out. And as always, if you enjoy this, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and let me know. Leave comments down below what you think on the latest VG Trust estimates. Again, these are estimates based on the available data we have. And in the future, if more data becomes available, we do, uh, do make adjustments based on what we have data-wise. So... Um, through the April 29th, 2023 lifetime sales, we got the Switch having passed 125 million sell-through. Again, these are sell-through figures um, versus Sony and Nintendo releasing shipment figures every quarter. There's going to be always a gap between shipment and sell-through. Once the console is completely sold out, it's no longer being manufactured. Um, so yeah, we got the um, lifetime sales Switch, 125.06 million units. The PS5 is up to 37.44 million units sell-through. Xbox Series X and S, 21.67 million units sell through. Um, and so for the month of April, again, if you want to check out the weekly sales, um, feel free to go to VGCharts.com. You can click this drop down and see the different sales per week. Um, interesting enough, you might see like, wait, the Switch is number one selling in that final week of April. Yes, but the PS5 is number one for the month. Um, it's because the Zelda OLED limited edition model launched at the end of April, which boosted sales quite a bit for the Switch in that final week. So, for the month of April, we got PS5 sales at 1.35, uh, 1.3, 1.345, you know, uh, million units sold worldwide. Switch at 1.27 million units sold worldwide. The Series X and S, 373,000 units sold worldwide, and the PS4, 13,000 um, estimated sales, of course. Um, in North America, we have the Switch actually number one here. Again, uh, North America, this is, um, we got the Switch at 428,000 units, 360,000 for the PS5, 229,000 for the Series X and S. In Europe, we've got the PS5 in first, 439,000. Switch in second, 331,000 and 92,000 for the Series X and S. In Japan, 281,000 for the Switch, 180,000. Um, for the PS5 and 2500 for the Series X and S. Um, and then breaking down here, and I know some people have pointed out, I've seen Twitter, I've seen the Twitter comments, you know, how low the Series X and S is, especially compared to the PS5 and Switch, which is true. But generation over generation, the Series X and S still continues to perform better than the Xbox One. Um, so generation on generation, PS5 versus the same month for the PS4. And Xbox Series X and S versus the same month for the Xbox One, which would be the month of April 2016. Uh, PS5 is up by over 669,000 units compared to the PS4, although lifetime is still tracking behind the PS4, but that gap is shrinking quickly. And in a matter of months before the end of the year, the PS5 will probably be tracking ahead of the PS4 by the end of the year. Um, unless, for some, unless somehow that pent-up demand is being met a lot faster than, ex than we would be expecting. But we'll see. Um, and we have Series X and S sales. Well, again, um, it looks well behind the other PS5 and Switch worldwide. Um, it is tracking for the equivalent month of the Xbox One up by nearly 60,000 units um, compared to the Xbox One. Um, so, yeah, the PS4 had sold about 674,000 units in April 2016 compared to the Xbox One's 313,000 units. So for the latest month, PS5 way ahead of the PS4. Um, and the Series X and S up about 60,000. Uh, or nearly 20% uh, compared to the Xbox One, um, which isn't so bad. Um, going to this generation, I was not. Um, I was still expecting PS5 to still win compared to the Xbox, as you would say. Um, but the Xbox Series X and S, I would expect to probably land between 60 to 70 million lifetime by the end of this generation. So better than the Xbox One, which sold a bit over 50 million, but worse than the uh, Xbox 360, which was around 85 or so million lifetime. It's kind of in between the two uh, due to a stronger first-party lineup compared to the Xbox One, but won't have the big Kinect boost that the 360 got in its later days, as well as stronger competition, as the PS3 is the worst-selling PlayStation console, um, which, had a, which, as you know, um, its first several years, PS3 sales were not very good, um, but then it did pick up later on. Um, so yeah, sales month-on-month, uh, March to April, um, 
Swiss sales is the only one actually up month on month by nearly 189,000 units. Um, PS5 sales are down by nearly 755,000 units, and Series X and S sales are down by over 182,000 units. Um, it should be added. One, a lot of the pent, um, a lot of the pent up demand for the PS5 is starting to be met a little bit. Um, PS5 stock wasn't as good in April as it was in March, as well as March being a five week month compared to a four week month for April. So the average sales per week um, is not as much as much of a drastic drop um, as you would expect. Uh, but obviously, Switch sales being up, the average sales per week did go up quite a bit, bit, especially that final week of April with the Zelda OLED being a huge success so far. Um, oh, and year-on-year -year sales, um, PS5 sales year-on-year -year up by 100% compared to they were a year ago, 673,000 673, units. Um, Switch sales are up 12%, uh, 142,000 units. That's right, Switch is up year-on-year, -year. again, mainly thanks to the Zelda OLED being such a huge success. And Series X and S sales are down by 134,000 units, or 26% year-on-year. And PS4 sales, I'm surprised, are down 58%, 18,000 year-on-year. Um, with a little bit of data we're seeing for May, obviously May is still not done. we still got another week and a bit left of May. But a little bit of data we do have. Um, PS5 and Switch sales remain are going to remain strong for sure. I'm not expecting a huge difference month on month i mean we'll see when the final data does come in or more data comes in i should say um and series x is actually doing better um in may than it did in april um we're seeing more series x stock available um at least there was for for the past week or so um than there was in the previous month to the point where series x and s should be down by less year on year or potentially even up year on year because may of last year was its worst month of sales in 2022 um so yeah and life to, a year to date excuse me 2023 sales so far through april we got ps5 6.92 million units switch 4.35 million units and the series x and s uh 1.89 million units sold um so yeah if you, again if anyone anyone has any questions uh feel free to ask in the comment section down below if you're watching this on youtube if you're watching this live on twitch feel free ask in the, <laughs> i will ask right now on live on the live stream here um, and again, here is the also the breakdown. We got America's sales here, which includes Latin America. While on the front page, it is just North America. Yeah, Europe. Overall, Asia sales. Um, PS5 sales are re doing really good in China and mainland Asia right now. Um, while Switch sales actually, while they're still strong in Japan, actually dropped quite a bit. Have dropped quite a bit in Asia. Um, and here are Oceania sales: Australia, New Zealand. Uh, PS5, Switch, Series X and S, and PS4. And a weekly breakdown of the worldwide sales here. So, um, that's probably going to do it about this coverage of the latest VG Charts estimates for April 2023. Um, the May estimates should start coming out. Usually, Japan comes out first. We'll post those first. Um, probably would be that first full week, towards the end of that first full week of June. Um, we'll see Japan. Um, and then the week after, we'll maybe see Europe and America's potentially posted um, once that data comes in. And then worldwide, either the end of that week or maybe the beginning of the week after that. It depends when the, all the data comes in. Uh, some data we get every week, some data we get once a month. So um, we wait for the month, we're waiting for that monthly data to come in now before we do the estimates. Depends when that stuff comes in. Um, but keep an eye on the site. Again, probably June... Probably the 8th, my guess, we'll be seeing the um, Japan estimates posted. And then week after, we'll see as long as they come available, Europe and America and potentially worldwide also for May. Um, so, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time for some more VGTRS estimates, gaming sales, gaming news, and other gaming industry information.